Oh, hello there. Welcome. It's good to see you again. It's been so long. Well, I thought I'd do a little something different this time, but the same. It's another unboxing video, and technically it's another re-unboxing video, but we're re-unboxing something that I didn't have before that someone else did. I bought some used items on the eBay, as they say it. Uh, they say that you shouldn't uh, put your address out there on things like YouTube or whatever. So I'm going to cover up my address and the sender's address with these brewery stickers. Brewery sticker. The sound like I've been to the brewery. From Jackalope Brewing Company. A little shout out there. There we go. Yeah. This is not about that. But it... Whoa. Hey. Steady. Steady. It covers up my address. So, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> the last time I did an unboxing video, I was excited because I thought I was going to find in my mini box some old D&D &D minis. And I didn't. So, that was disappointing. But I found these on the internet. And... I have had this box for a while, and I've been wanting to open them up, but I've been holding on doing a video, so I want to see them. So now I'm gonna. So anyway, yeah, it's not gonna. Uh, it was shipped nicely from uh, the eBay person that I bought it from, whose name I can't remember, and now I've covered it up. So uh, let's see, the snowman shipped me. Uh, Thunder and uh, these D and D minis. And these are the old school kind of uh, lead minis. Uh, so I will be trying not to stick my fingers in my mouth as I'm doing this. I'm trying really hard not to stick my fingers in my mouth while I do this. So there's this uh, packing paper, which is really great. Uh, I'm, I like that they use paper because it's highly recyclable and reusable. And then, look at this. Now this is a classy way to do it. Each mini has its own little paper, you know, coffin. Like it's being shipped across the seas like Dracula. So I like that right off the bat. Uh, they're lead, so they really should be kind of durable, but they're also probably like, I would say probably about 30 years old if they're lead. So we'll see what we got here. One thing about this uh, that I've forgotten in the sands of time since I ordered them is that they were painted. So I'm curious to see, you know, several of them were painted. I want to see what this person's paint job was like. Okay, right here. First off, we've got, looks like a, a sorceress, kind of a magic caster of some kind. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not going to focus on it. That's great. That's fantastic. Way back here. That's where you see it. Yeah, fingernails dirty from painting. It's not poop or anything. We've been through this. So that's pretty cool. Let's set her right there. I got a dungeon tile out here just to set them on. That turned out really cool. She's got a nice little paint job on her. Oh, it says something. Yeah, the Ralpartha. That's what I thought. That's what I thought they were going to be. Something like that. Ralpartha did a bunch of these. And uh, I like Grenadier. I'm trying to think of some of the other companies. There were a bunch of lead mini companies back in the day. This one, there's two in that one. Wait, those are, oh my gosh, there's two in this one. I almost, almost recycled it. Original box, original package. Okay, we had two uh, female magic users. Almost identical. I kind of like the paint jobs. These may get redone. 
they may just stay like that just to kind of hold some of their uh, nostalgia. I never really painted anything that was, you know, really great looking. You got lizard guy, could be like a dragonborn. That'd be cool. Two for one. I'm glad that, glad that I noticed that. So right here we've got uh um I don't know what that is. Maybe someone who knows could leave something in the comments. That would be good. Uh it looks like uh maybe um maybe like some type of sorcerer of some kind. That's cool. Like that. I should have done this. Because now they'll be Let's just pretend I did that. Let's go back in time and pretend that I did that. All right. <clears throat> Are we having fun? This is better than the Micro Machines one? Not, not really? Okay. Well, stay tuned. Maybe I'll read a book later. All right. All right here we go. We have like a, uh, a Roman style um, lighter. This looks like maybe an Amazon. That's pretty cool. Looks like these, mostly the paint on them has probably worn off, probably from use, more so than, you know, that it just didn't get painted. So yeah, these are, these are good candidates for maybe repainting, or I don't know. There's just something really neat about that worn out paint on the old old figures and especially because i couldn't find any of mine it's just it's cool to see whoa focus we got Nice, nice. Looks like a ninja fighter. I'll try and get this on camera so it's not just my fingers. Very cool. Took the time to paint the sword hilt. That's awesome. Love to see that. Never really got into the, um, I think uh, back then it was called Oriental Adventures. I don't know. I guess they've maybe just worked in a lot of that with the uh, mythology and the lore uh, with the monk, probably, and some other uh, new classes and villains. And this is really cool. This is like a... Uh, gosh, it looks like maybe a female sorcerer, like a, maybe a um, earlier... Um, version of the um like the female necromancer or something like that i don't know this is all speculation you just you just put what you think in the comments and i'll read it later i got a bigger one here it's got uh looks like uh fallen down benjamin franklin this looks like something that, I don't know, this looks like something that maybe was just from a war game set. Yeah, it says VFW set one. I don't know if that's going to be in reverse because I'm using the selfie camera and that's how that works. But uh, something from maybe just a different kind of war games. He's got kind of like a colonial looking outfit on. I might use that in like a pirate type adventure or something. I think my dry hands, it's still coronavirus time, still washing my hands a billion times a day. That's great. Absolutely great. Uh, still, still feeling good though, so not complaining. Another ninja. That's really cool. Very cool. Got 
multiple packs in this one. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. This is cool. No base. Looks like he stands good, though. Like a War Duke kind of uh, fighter. Really like that. That I remember seeing that in the listing. That's pretty much what uh, made me reason to get this. There we go. Let's see here. I think. Okay. We got a Cerberus, a three headed hound of hell. From this angle, it looks like it's a dash hound. Like, that's. That's interesting. It's a wiener dog. Hound from hell. I like that, actually. Very cool. Very cool. And bottom paper. And now I say that because it's from the bottom of the box, but again, uh, to put you in the timeline, this is December 2020, and people are being shits and buying all the toilet paper again. So this could actually be bottom paper if you should purpose it as such. Uh, but either way, uh, it also came with this nifty uh, Top Tuck box, which has these brewery stickers on it. That's a nice uh, touch. Um, that that would be something that would be cool to like I don't know you could keep something in there like 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 minis I don't know or dice or something um, but thank you for taking this trip with me uh, unboxing my new old minis thank you very much oh uh, they they uh, they didn't make it they they're old one. <laughs> 